Hello, and welcome to the Sup Podcast Podcast. I'm... <laughs> Come on. Chris, Chris, shut the fuck up and let him <laughs> intro it, man. All right, yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. Dude, I'm, I'm Lil Kinky, and this is the Sub Podcast. Um, I'm only here for a good time, not a long time. You know why. <laughs> um, today on the show, we have the regulars, Chris Cheney. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Luke Trevisi. Yeah, what's up, bud? The one and only LZT, LZD325. Lawrence <laughs> Deloach. Oh my god, my god. What's good, Tanner? Welcome back, man. I'm so happy to have you on this one, man. Roll out <laughs> the carpet for Lawrence. <laughs> my guy right there. Roll yeah, out the, the real, red real. carpet. He's just the only one that I remember his Instagram handle. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Clearly wow. Tanner had a favorite. <laughs> my, that was I told Tanner, Tanner's a fucking genius. He's a legend. Yo, <laughs> that guy is the fucking man for real. I'm so happy to have you back, bro. Listen, this is like week what four, five. This is what, yeah, <laughs> we're in it, man. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, this is this is a month of this. Um, five five weeks now. Yeah, it, it's a lot. This is too much. Damn. Oh, yeah, well, Tanner, what, what have you been doing to get by, Tanner? Yeah, yeah. update us on your life. To be honest, um, I've been hearing a lot of pushback for people saying this, but I've been thriving. Never been better. <laughs> <laughs> um, i like working from home i've been uh, working on my paintings a lot i feel very good about how things have been going so your background there that's those are your paintings that you've painted yeah yeah, yeah. well the, the uh, tide one i did way back in october listerine was uh during new year's and then i've done th- three more since uh <laughs> little excited not used to the setup you do great chris <laughs> you're a dick um so and awesome. i've done three more paintings uh since we've been quarantined fuck yeah thank you that's awesome man what about the guy in the back there what's up with him oh i forgot to god damn it i'm sorry i forgot to introduce him that's Irwin. <laughs> that's Irwin. yeah 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 he's wearing my uh last winter gear oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought that was like the mannequin for your Batman outfit. No, no, no. That's my last winter gear. So yeah. like as soon as this winter's tight fully over, he's going to be wearing the TikTok hoodie. Oh, but for now he's still rocking Pornhub. Okay. Okay. I respect. Yeah. I respect. I found him on the streets of Bay Ridge. What do you what do you do with him, buddy? I just I, usually he's in my <laughs> living room just as he's just like decoration, really. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sometimes oh. I put I put a light in his hand, so uh-huh. he's like a, works as a lamp. Okay. Oh, actually, that's kind of cool. <laughs> it is pretty sick, right? I that's wanna, pretty. That's pretty rad. I want to like wire it and like fully like get it to like have like a switch in it and everything. Yeah. But for right now, mm-hmm. it, I just sort of like ghetto put it up its sleeve. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Oh, I'm so cool, happy though. that Tanner's here. This is my favorite episode I think we've ever done. <laughs> This yeah, is, I th- fucking love it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching TV. <laughs> nah, nah I'm he's also actually, eating. He's like got mangoes in front of him and shit, and he's just flipping through channels. This is ideal. First, first off, number one, it's pineapple. Second off, a reason why I changed the channel is because uh, I just turned on uh, ESPN. They have uh, the horse. They have M- uh, ES- NBA horse. So the guys are playing horse. Uh huh. Oh right. And I'm like, this is this is. Guys, this is where we're at. We're at a, a point in time now where where entertainment uh, is everything is digital. All right. Yeah. We saw. I don't know if you did. You guys watch the Saturday Night Live uh, last night from home? I did not. How was it? I saw some of it. Very unique. I mean, okay. very. Yeah. You know, it's. Um, it just goes to show you that with everything that's going on in this world, how people are trying to adapt. Now, sports yeah. obviously is completely. You know, it's different. You need you people. You need 30, 70,000 people in, a, in an arena. You need athletes to feel safe. But ESPN is literally, here's NBA 2K tournaments. Here's horse challenges. And, mm-hmm. and Saturday Night Live is like, we're going to do sketches from home. And, you know, and, and, and I'm just like, where do we continue to go? And Tanner, you as a guy who, you're a super creative, bro. Like, how do you feel? Like, what are you doing now I, in terms I, of your work? I want to talk to you about sports because... <laughs> Recently, <laughs> Hell yeah, <dude. laughs> um, recently, I got really into hockey. 
really, okay. really into it. Good. And oh, I do cut, remember that. And they <laughs> cut off the season. They did the same with basketball. Yeah. And I just want to know how you're dealing with there not being sports right now because I'm really upset about it. Sports was, anime, bro. I was so excited about the Stanley <laughs> Cup and it's about hockey. Yeah. And then Katie had to get uh, Corona and ruin it all for all for everyone. <laughs> yes, it's Kevin, it's Kevin Durant's fault specifically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, other I, people too, but it's other people as well. Um, you know, it, oh, damn, it, it's sports is such a unique. What have you been doing? Have you? Lives. Yeah, you you like basketball? You watch basketball? Love, what have I you love, been doing? Love basketball, bro. I mean, honestly, I've been watching the um, the old, older games uh, yeah. from like twenty years ago. And um, you know, and once again, I mean, I think we're all all sports basketball fans are excited about next Sunday when ESPN drops the Chicago Bulls documentary. Oh, from, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. From the you know the last ride from ninety seven, ninety eight season. So I mean, there, there's things that you're getting through, and we talked about it on the podcast, Chris. I mean, and uh, and Tanner and, and Luke about wrestling. You know, obviously WWE yeah. still mm-hmm. going on. So obviously it's not a simple transition, but you know, dudes are figuring out how to live this new norm that we're in right now, bro. So um, I'll tell you guys. Uh, my girlfriend actually showed this to me. Uh, it, it's a great substitution for sports. There's marble racing. Oh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not autistic. I'm not that autistic. No, 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 dude. I'm telling you, the, the marble racing is fucking. It, it's like Olympics. They have all the same events. There's like track and field. They got these weird stuff. It's fucking awesome. I, I know. I, I was watching this shit two years ago. Like that's right. Well, I'm yeah. sorry. That's right, man. You're so but ahead of the fucking him. curve. Uh, b- b- but even then, it was bad. Like it's not. Oh, like, marble racing is. How bad. dare you, man? Marble <laughs> racing is amazing. I love it. It was <laughs> amazing two years ago. It's not amazing anymore. If you bring it up now, you're uncool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. Well, Speaking of sports, we can segue this into um, a relevant uh, sneaker topic. Is um, so I don't know if you guys saw it, Tanner. This is going to be whole news to you. Um, so Giannis um, Antetokounmpo, um, he has the Zoom Freak sneaker, which uh, there's a new version coming out. Mm-hmm. You, I'm this. These are that's a real person, Tanner. Um, okay. And you can only get this shoe if you play NBA 2K Live. Mm-hmm. Now, we've seen a couple of different iterations of these, but there was no, like, stipulation of, like, winning or anything involved. Apparently, you have to win, like, a playoff game inside of uh, some mode. It, if they keep moving the, this sneaker shit into video games, I'm going to get real angry because they did this with Fortnite. Remember, they put the guy in the um, Spider-Man Jordans? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And now they're, they're making specific only basketball shoes if you play a ba- – I don't play basketball games. I don't huh. play Fortnite and I don't play basketball games. They're gonna have to like well, have okay. Ryu wear like his dunks or something for this to apply to me. Do you guys see this moving in a direction like that? I don't know if I like this. I don't know because from the shoes that I've seen come out, a lot of them are trash. So I'm not really too worried about it. <laughs> you know, yeah. like I'm not really too worried about it. I don't think they would really, unless like. There's like very rare instances where I see them in the future putting out like grailed sneakers through NBA 2K. There's maybe like two or three instances where that would even be po- like plausible because they're just going to lose out on too many sales by not by having like all, all of these people jump through hoops like that. <laughs> it's like something that people really want. Like I guarantee you like no, no great colorway is coming out of that collection. Yeah, I mean, the colorway that's not coming out. I mean, Lawrence, you play 2K, but do you even have the most recent version to get these? Oh, uh, yeah. I just, I, <clears throat> because of the pandemic, I, I, I bought uh, NBA 2K20 for so oh, nice. playing, okay. so I've been playing mm-hmm. that. But uh, I mean, dude, you know, I, I, I don't play it enough that I'm, you know, I play online and I play some of these dudes, and these dudes, this is, they've been playing this game since September when it released. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm six months behind everyone, and they are not playing basketball. They are playing virtual basketball. You know, like can, it's a com- well, yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's a completely different game than basketball. Like 2K, well, I think, in my opinion, I don't know. No, it's it's a totally different. Yeah, Tanner, do you even play video games? Um, I do not play video games. I play online chess sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. But mostly, no, I don't. So that's kind of what I'm saying. That's kind of what I'm saying, though. So, like, only one person here 
out of the four of us. I know this is a weird control group, but like, so 25% of us can get the opportunity to get this shoe. We've talked about this with many different angles. I don't like how they're making it so. But, but shoes are all about exclusivity. Like that's the whole, like whole gig of it. Yeah, so, keep going, Tanner. Uh, that, that, I like this. I, I mean, so like, this is just another exclusive group. Like if you're not in the group, you don't get it. If you don't know about the shoe, you don't get it. If you don't, if you're not fast enough, you don't get it. Like it's just the same limited drop, just through different. Got to win, baby. Yeah, Nike's for winners only, baby. Woo, woo. <laughs> so, El, did you did you try and get these, or were you even aware of them? Like, I don't. Know. I, I I definitely was aware of them because I actually linked my uh, sneakers account to uh, my 2K account. Uh, but I, so I yeah. did know about them, but I, I you know I didn't I didn't really go after them because I'm not a big fan of uh the the Giannis uh the Greek Greek sneakers mm-hmm. uh but you know obviously like I remember they did something like this with Kobe's and um yeah I mean and you know and and, and they do that this is you know this is you, you guys got to realize every everything is, is like they're innovating so many different things they're doing so many different procedures things that we used to look at and be like, this is stupid. Now, you know, this is like a new norm, you know, yeah. it, it mm-hmm. went from mom and pop foot lockers to online to, you know, to you're seeing different ways of, you know, of just things coming out, man. And remember back in the days, I mean, this would be considered like a, a player edition sneaker that no one would get, you know, mm-hmm. like if right. this was, 15 years ago, you had no shot at getting these exclusive colorways like this. So I think they're trying to do something different. And once again, it, it is for a small market. And, you know, if you do play the game, then, you know, I mean, you also spend $60 to get a game and, and you spend a lot of hours in. I mean, it's, just, it's one of those perks that come with it, man. To me, it reminds me of uh, the Street Fighter model of selling video games. Um, which I know it's a kind of a stretch, but if you stay with me here for a second. So like when they come out with a street fighter, it's very basic and there's not a lot to it. There's like mm-hmm. oh, a certain amount of characters. There's like the online's usually fucked up or whatever. It happened with the most recent one. But then what they do is they have like three sessions of downloadable content where you spend like more than double the amount of money on the actual game. Mm-hmm. So like you end up paying like almost $200 to play the game that you originally wanted. Right. I have a feeling that they're going to make it so hard to get some of these jump through hoops. Like, all right, so what if now I have to have had the previous game and load my save data on the new one, and then I can get – you get what I'm saying? It's just like there, there's too many – we we jump through enough hoops. Well, yeah, I mean, but that's something that, you know, especially these video games, like Fortnite. Um, you know, I read an article a few weeks ago where a former NBA player, Kendrick Perkins, he said his kids ran up his credit card, built $16,000 on Fortnite. You know, when you look at uh, even a game like NBA 2K, I, you, you spend $60 for the game itself. But if you want to purchase certain perks, I mean, you can spend hundreds upon hundreds of dollars. So I think this is obviously it. There's 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 the the way you monetize the actual game itself. But then there's ways that you monetize to make more money off of the game. It's a, it's a game within a game to me at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I, you know, I don't know, man. Listen, man. Speaking of, speaking of uh, uh, basketball and all this, man. We had a we had a sneaker release yesterday that was pretty uh, pretty hyped. It was the Air Jordan One. Mm-hmm. Uh, was it the Court Purple? Court Purple. Yes. Yeah. That finally came out. They were pushed back after time after time. Uh, I'm gonna. I think I've gone on record as saying this. Um, Jordan Ones uh, have been poured out. Yeah, and and it went from something as simple as seven years ago, people were clamoring for all the the OG colorways to come back out, whether it was the black mm-hmm. and red, the Royals, you know, and and black toes and Chicago's, and, and we got all those in a and a two and like a a three year stretch, and <clears> then <throat> Jordan Brand ran out of tricks, if, if that's the best way for me to put it. So now it's just mm-hmm. like. We're just gonna keep coming out with Jordans, and I think the court purples are—they're a cool shoe. But it's just like, dude, after Chicago's and 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 Royals, I mean, I, like I said, and and it gets to that point where it's like, fuck, how much more are they gonna keep dropping on people, man? Yeah, pour out a new model. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, they're they're getting to the point. <clears throat> excuse me. They're getting to the point where like it's not only Jordan one. Like the fours kind of seem like they're getting hoard out. I know they were around their anniversary year, but it seems like all the early Jordans are getting yeah. the same kind of treatment. Um, not as much as the one specifically. The one's getting it a lot. But no, you're right, man. It's kind of getting ridiculous. What you were about to say something? No, it's just it's uh, the twos are the only ones you don't see it from. It's one threes, fours, five sixes. Yeah, you know? which. I- I've gone on record a million times and said the twos are such an underrated model. Yeah. Um, and I and and I I, I want I want them to uh, retro the Chicago twos or you know the the white mm-hmm. twos because I feel like but I feel like if they're gonna do it because it it wasn't like one of the more popular models, um, they're going to put people through <laughs> hoops to get that. What happened? His cat. <laughs> cat. Tanner's got his cat. Yeah, Barf Barf just wants to be on camera for a minute. Sorry. Hey, Ken. No, it's nah, great. Don't worry. That's nah, all good. <clears throat> no, wait. So, but, Tanner, yeah. just to check back in with you for a second. So, like, you know, kind of to pile on what we were saying, a lot of Jordan 1s, 4s, some of the earlier models, um, you know, since you've been last on the podcast, have gotten, like, really hoard out and abused. Have you mm-hmm. noticed anything since the last time you spoke with us, like, shoes-wise? I feel like <clears throat> last time we've spoken, we were the, – Lawrence was always on the 2 train, but – <laughs> Starting to say that the that ones were just like too much, like it's and I and I see them too. Like those are the I don't know a lot of the models, but I yeah. definitely know the ones. Like the everyone and their mom has a one, and all different colors, every different. Mm-hmm. They they almost seem like not even like Nikes. They almost seem like like Van custom shoes. Like how many different colorways <laughs> there are. Mm. Ooh. Like that, <clears throat> yo Tanner. Tanner's putting up some shots here, and I'm loving everything about it. <laughs> he's fucking. He's doing it, man. Uh, I've been. I was on Goat the other day, and I was trying to look up a couple. I was looking up Turbo Greens, and those are down to like three forty. They used to be like mm-hmm. five, six hundred when they first came out. So it's Turbo like it's Green, a, <clears throat> Turbo one? Green ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're going down. De- like everything's going down in price. Everything that's been like popular for the past couple of years because of the Jordan. I think because of the influx of the Jordan ones, we're seeing everything go down in price, which is kind of. Well, yeah, I know. mean, between the abuse of the models and between the whole sneaker market going down because of the pandemic and everything right. kind of leveling out. I mean, I mean, we even saw the solution with round two that we talked about. Um, right. They're gonna yeah, they're gonna team up with uh, Grailed and have all the inventory from the round two store on the Grailed site. Tanner, do you know what round two is? Yeah, I know about round two. I want to hear more, I have, unless you guys have already talked about it. To bits, no, we really haven't. What, um, how, how are all shoes like on Go and all those like reselling uh, sites going way down now? Like with like um, everything that's going on, or like shoe prices like tanking. Shoe prices are going down. They're not they're going, going down. down. They're not tanking, but uh-huh. they're still like, I I think you could find a couple shoes that were in like the six seven hundred dollar range for five four now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Like they're yeah, going so down. Like marginally, everything's gone. Like everything's pretty much on sale. You know, quote uh, on the secondary market right now. Like because no one's really buying shit. So like they're just, and people are just trying to sell shit because people are losing their jobs right you aren't getting unemployment you know what i mean mm-hmm. like luckily i finally got on but like it, as a sole proprietor it's weird because my mom back in mass still it hasn't gotten it you know what i mean so like some mm-hmm. people aren't getting any help anywhere so right that's contributing to this whole thing right yeah i just could imagine like mm-hmm. there couldn't be like thousand dollar resell like shoes and like mm-hmm. it just doesn't seem yeah. like they're, that's they're still where moving. the priority are yeah believe it or not there are still shoes like there are people who are taking opportunity like this as an opportunity to kind of invest in sneakers i think really yeah because yeah. you're, you're buying low you know yeah so, i mean yeah. even if, even if it's only a couple hundred dollars the prices of sneakers have gotten so ridiculously um inflated on the right. secondary market that like you like luke said if you see something at 700 now it's four you're like all right i'm guy that's got it that's mine do you yeah. think it'll go back up uh, after the crash i think a lot of this stuff will go up because the economy is going to surge so like huh. the second we're allowed to go outside like the first off the city is basically going to fall apart because of how many people are going to go outside <laughs> just and gonna freak out start fucking on the street <laughs> yeah dude it's going to be absolute mayhem i'm going to be so happy to be in the city when it happens i know um but the second thing is like if people start getting money again to spend like that's part of what this 1200 bucks is is to keep the economy kind of afloat right so 
like when people come out of this stuff and they got some spending money, like they get a job back or whatever. Yeah. I, th- I think you'll see, go back up. I think immediately you'll see a little bit of a, you'll see a little bit of a mm-hmm. bump immediately where once the stimulus checks come through, people are going to start spending on a little bit of like extra stuff that'll start happening, but it'll probably dip back down again. Once people realize like, ah, shit, this is like left a very big hole in the economy. Yeah, what are no. you guys getting? What, you, what are you guys getting with your stimulus? What, what are you? Are you guys buying anything? Uh, <laughs> I, got, I got a question. I got a question. What's is, this yeah, stimu- is this stimulus check thing real? I I've just been seeing memes about it on Twitter. I thought it was a meme. No, no it's, it's real. real. How am I? Am I gonna get that? Yeah. Yeah. How? Uh, <laughs> how are I you? Gonna... Are you an American? I am. There you go. Is it just gonna get well, mailed to me? No. Uh, well, if you direct if, deposit. If you no. Well, if direct you did, deposit. If you did, if you didn't file a tax return in uh, 2019 or from 2019 to 2018, uh, there are steps for you to uh, still get your check. But you, basically, it's based on who filed the taxes in the last like year or so. Yeah. So that's the first. That's the first step. If, so I don't know. You know. Um, also, I'm sure there's some type of conditions. I mean, if you're if you're a dependent, if you've been, you know, I you can find out. But Tanner, yeah, it is real. So okay. Yeah. Let's not. I, sometimes let's not I forget. Tanner, I sometimes I forget we're an influential platform and we have to remind people that there oh, are still know. rules. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, still rules. I mean, you think they're just going to mail. I mean, can can it like, give it free money. You yeah. Hey, <laughs> on, guys. Let's be a little bit more responsible. Chris. Also, I have a question. So wh- you, you mentioned grail and round two. Where'd you see that at? That was um, on the grail Instagram. The grailed Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that, yeah. So let's see how that plays out with them. Because, yeah, I uh, hit you guys with the screenshot the second I saw it. <clears throat> no, I know, I, I remember that. I was just, I was just trying to go online and just see that. Yeah, I do see that. Uh, uh, so it's it, my real quick. My my only thing with Grail is uh, Grail has a a major problem in terms of a lot of some of the, not a lot some of their shit is fake. Yeah, that, go, that gets sold on Grail, and we've yep. also seen in the past that some of the shit that Brown Two sells. Is fake. It's fake. Yep. Yeah. So I want to know. Did you see the top what? comment? Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but the top no, comment no, no. on Instagram is, "I thought y'all didn't allow fake stuff on Grailed." <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the top comment on the Grailed <laughs> post about round two. Yeah, but Jesus keep going. Now. What, what were you saying? Yeah. No. So I, it's um, you know, once again, Grailed. Obviously, they they do specialize in like vintage clothing, and you, you can get a lot of vintage clothing. And round two also does that, and we did mention that. Yeah, round two was like very behind in terms of not having some type of online platform to sell their merchandise. As now we can see, when when you, your brick and mortar store goes down, they really had no no option or no way to move their their merchandise except for like they would here and there go online and and do some type of uh it would be like a quick sale or like a flash sale but R- round two I went want... under round no no, no. They didn't go under. no they had to shut down yeah which which location no they had to well, sh- for quarantine oh for court oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. my bad yeah, yeah. My bad. So, no, i was so is he thriving you don't care i was so far <laughs> I'm, yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't Tanner, care about Tanner's driving else. so hard. He's like, oh, what's round two? I'm better than it right now. I, <laughs> no. I just, I got lost. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep going. No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. So, so I think, you know, who's going to, at least with GOAT and stop, I mean, they're going to have to, obviously, they're going to have to train employees to do a way better job of letting things through because I've been in round two so many times and Literally, I mean, I've dropped off a pair of sneakers. I've even picked up sneakers, and I had to do a better, le- legit check than their employees did. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sitting here. I remember one time I, I had um, I had got a pair of uh, when I had got my Prestos, my all white Prestos. I had a size 11. Mm-hmm. I needed to trade them for a size 12, right? And I went to round two. This is when the Prestos like first came out because I wasn't trusting like I'm going a month later. Like this is when they first first came out, and I, I went there, and um, the employee, he, I'm like, dude, I got 11. 12 he's like all right cool it's 30 dollars he does this he does this why he looks he this literally he looks at my size 11 just like this and this guy right, cool and he looks at the 12 and does like one a quick glance and then he's like he's good and i literally did like a 10 minute legit check and he was like fam they good and i'm like i, I don't trust y'all yeah and i know that that's really sad to say especially if you're trading a sneaker that you know is you know hundreds and hundreds of dollars 
but I just want to know what what type they're going to have to obviously do a lot better uh, legit checks than what they're doing because they can't let a lot of fake shit through off. They're going to get fucking slaughtered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just um, it's just the only solution that we've seen with these mom and pops, though. So, like, I don't really consider round two like a mom and pop, but they didn't have a web presence, which is like a mom right. and pop. Well, so, yeah, I mean, they're, yeah they're the amount of employees, the, the no online presence, <clears throat> big old mom and pop. Go on, it's, I mean, it, it's, it is a mom and pop. It really yeah. is to me. It's, it's not a pure mom and pop. Like, Sean is a personality. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. mom and pops don't have a personality behind their shops. They don't get a Nike collab. And then when it, you know what I mean? It's a little yeah. different, but it's, it's in the same vein. It's just similar. But I want to know how the splits are going to be like because if a round two product is selling on Grailed, mm-hmm. how much of that is going to Grailed and how much is going to round two? Uh, I, I said this on, in the group chat, but I said it was probably going to be the normal, normal trade rate, I think, maybe even discounted. Well, here's the thing also. I mean, we, if you're basing this off of, you know, Grailed and Instagram, does, we don't know. I mean, we don't know what this partnership may truly entail. We're, right. We're kind of. I mean, That's if a good it's, point. We are if speculating. It's, if, it's, if it's based on these two arms coming together, we don't know what the. I mean, if, if you know, we don't know what that means. You know, round two could be using Grails. You know, uh, their their web capability. We don't know what it is. We don't know. So I think before we can speculate, and be like, well, is it going to be an eighty twenty split, seventy thirty? How is this going to work? I mean, let's find out what the fuck they even talking about. All they did was this vague round two grill coming together for one mm-hmm. you know we don't know that's true i mean what for lock, for lock a partner with goat mm-hmm. right and 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 you know and footlocker still... bought goat that's different okay but okay so then who's to say grill didn't buy round two we don't know we don't know yet that's, that's, true. that's true. also that's true that's also that's very also true. true so i mean let's just <clears throat> you know I mean, obviously, let's let's figure it out before we say like, you know, oh man, who, how's the consignment shops gonna work and this and that and that. We don't know. We don't know, guys. You know, we're in a time where, where you know, maybe round two is now going on grill so they can sell the, the inventory that they have in their stores. We don't because who knows when the fuck round two is gonna reopen? Mm-hmm. You know, when these when these stores are gonna open. So let's let's figure it out before you know and let's see where it goes but it, it is very interesting because i feel like all of these these uh online platforms are definitely they're all coming to, they're trying to like you know like collab up and come together because yeah. shit if you out there by yourself you you not fuck mm-hmm. but you better have a a major backing mm-hmm. you know you better have someone backing you better be in you better have a tag team partner in this shit so yeah man no, yeah, you make a you make a good point. <clears throat> I didn't really think about Very it like solid that. Point. Yeah. Well, I'm just I'm I'm just interested to see what everybody does because there's a bunch of I'm not gonna say a bunch, but there are a lot of entities like Round Two that need solutions. And uh, if they mm. if this goes the way we think it might go, then I think a lot of people mm. will follow suit, and it'll be interesting to see. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, um, shit, I just had something I was gonna segue into, but I forgot. Uh oh! All right, how do I force this one? Uh, okay. So Lawrence, last year was it? What was your shoe of the year this year? My shoe of the year in twenty twenty so far. Yeah, so far. What was it? I don't even think we did that so far. Um, I don't even think we've. I don't even think we've discussed shoes of shoe of the year so far. A qu- we could do shoe of the quarter of the first quarter so far. Yeah. Um, I think there's. Honestly, I'm trying to now. I'm just, you put me on the spot. I, no, I no, you care. good. I, I mean, but last year I can do this. But last last year it was the waffle, right? <clears throat> it was. It was between. It was between the waffle and, and the Travis Scott ones. I think I, I definitely chose the uh, waffle as the shoe of the year. Yeah. All okay. right. So okay, here here's where I can segue this. Um, so I found out recently that the waffle. Um, I was talking to a, a, a friend who works at Nike. The waffle was actually a trail running shoe. That was the first model that Nike tried to do trail running with. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I say that because now, um, so people like Sakai and other people have been flipping trail runners. I've noticed a lot of trail running um, models getting a lot of resurgence and companies doing a lot of new trail running models for the future. Yeah. So I think trail running is going to be a new thing. Now, hold on, let me, like, because Dad Shoes was like the last, 
big trend in sneakers or the, yeah. the chunky you guys agree with that yeah chunky was the big one yeah because it seems like all right so new balance has been killing it lately um mm-hmm. and now they're coming out with these trail runners right right getting mm-hmm. gross <laughs> Try, t- tanner you love these sh- it shut up this is all you all day mm-hmm. no no you don't like does- these at all no, these those- are too yeah no these aren't these aren't tanner the, the, those will make me look too like legit autistic like those are yeah. too, it's, <laughs> it's right he's right he knows his strengths that's true <laughs> that's true okay um it, aside from tanner looking too autistic in these i don't mm-hmm. think they're a bad i don't think there's a bad shoe but i'll comparatively um put these up again so leaning you guys know i advocate for them and i i'm not even saying this as part of the meme they're fucking killing it as far as staying on trend um, relative to when the trend pops, and they're starting to do trail running. Those look much better. These do look better. These do have like a kind of alien stomper feel to them. And I yeah. also have noticed a lot of people, specifically Asians, wearing yeah. a lot of Solomon. Okay. Are you are you joking? No, I'm not. Solomon is fucking wrecking right now. Solomon's doing so good, and I don't know why. And I'm thinking is this is what my, I was weird? leading up to. What is, what is, what is Solomon? No, Solomon. Like? Yeah, what I'll the fuck you. is Solomon, dude? Mm-hmm. You, got, you guys know them as like probably like a ski brand or um, like a roller skate brand. Um, hold on, cover me while I get this up. Uh, in sports news, fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, that was tough. <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on. oh, Sorry. these, yeah. Oh, got you. I thought you were saying Satan like a jackass. Solomon. No, Solomon. Yeah, Solomon. Salomon. Like, dude, especially like uh, the model's not really up here, but like like these. I've seen these or a, a shoe like these on so many different people more specifically yeah. asian but it seemed like this trail shit is going to overtake i think you're just noticing it more shit. dude <laughs> no i'm tell- dude i'm telling you this is going to be the shit i wanted to see what you guys thought that was what this whole segue was getting to i unfortunately i think you're right uh <laughs> i don't like it but i think you might be right it seems to be all going in this direction like if you look at what models are like kind of popular right now like the green ones already remind me of those off white uh, the off-white Nikes that are supposed to come out. I mean, even think about like the shit that Balenciaga is putting a lot of their shit into because they're ahead, generally speaking, as far as other the high-end brands, as far as the sneaker trends. A right. lot of their shit looks like fucked up versions of these. Yeah, above the green ones, uh, the to the left, not the two set right there, that one to the right, like right to the right. No, these oh, guys one. look like Shanghai's, dude. Yeah. Like those look like the Air Max Shanghai's, you know? Yeah. Like these are like the poor man's version of that. So I do see like a potential for it. I understand why Asians would like these. <laughs> I mean, Lawrence, does this does this hit anywhere for you? I'm just trying to stay ahead of it because like I I was so not ahead of the dad shit. The dad mm-hmm. chunky shit caught me off so like hardcore, and Absolutely. I'm like, yeah, no, keep going. You, you what do you what do you got? Absolutely not. Those do, do nothing for me. No. Do you, I mean, is there any stake though? Because they don't really do anything for me either. But I mean, is there any stake to what I'm saying? Where like this this trail running shit seems like it's going to be the next thing. Ah, uh, I don't know. Trail running's always been in, but I don't know. I don't think trail running is like the next, like um, like dad shoe. I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. It's the year 2020. We all want to dress like futuristic people. We want robot legs. That's Dude, Solomon, Solomon came out of nowhere, and they're doing really fucking good. Um, on some side projects I've been doing, a lot of pe- that I've been working on with other people, a lot of people have been referencing Solomon in these trail running shoes. And then I, you know, just for preparation for the show, I see, like, there's fucking six different brands that are coming out with these, each a new trail runner. I'm like, all right, what, something, I'm, I just clicked on it just now, or I'm about to it's about to go off because everyone's doing trail shit. Yeah. Well, we were talking about round two last week, so I bet you next week we'll find another trail running shoe. Maybe. I mean, Tanner, do you have any stake in this? Does this seem like something that um, – I, I know you don't look at everyone's sneakers like we do, but, I mean, have you noticed anything like this? Um, 
I haven't noticed anything like this. Um, I haven't noticed these shoes, and <clears throat> I will never buy them because I am strictly all black slip on vans. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> Got them wait, on right now. A, this is a good time to pause. We have less than a. <laughs> We have less than a minute on this recording, so this is going to um, bow out, and then I'll send you guys a new invite, and then we'll basically just maybe do a couple more minutes and then wrap it up. Nice. Gotcha. All right, cool. Uh, so uh, Chris basically uh, is making me say this, that he brought up a very good point. He wants to <laughs> <laughs> you don't forcing me to tell you one. No, no, no. He's forcing no. me to tell you guys that earlier in the podcast. Tanner, you and I were there for that, right? I was there. Chris, yeah, we were there for that made a good point he just told me to tell you guys that so the good point that chris uh thinks he made forcing thinks he made is forcing (laughs) me to say is uh the stimulus money the twelve hundred dollars that we're supposed to receive uh what is everyone going to do with that money what are you going to do with that money chris what are you buying are you buying anything yeah no i'm definitely buying a well the purpose of that money to me is to put back in the economy so everything stops tanking so i'm definitely spending most of that probably on some a life gear because that's still on sale and then oh uh, yeah i'll get a pair of sneakers probably i don't know which ones yet but i'm definitely buying some clothes Ooh, i like i like i like uh i'm probably going by from probably gonna buy maybe the pair of turbo greens uh mm-hmm. or a pair of baby bears if i can get them for the low okay one or the other and also rest of the money's pretty much going into small businesses restaurants stuff like that Oh, yeah. But yeah, aside from like getting the money, I spend it where people need it. Don't like go to Amazon. You know what I mean? Yeah. They have enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeff Mm -hmm. Bezos was talking about making a space station the other day, like during this whole shit. So like $1,200? No, with his $1 trillion (laughs) million he has. I would like to see that. (laughs) Um, Tanner, what are you going to do with Tanner? Um, uh, probably head over to Amazon, Best Buy. Uh, <laughs> I I really I need a new computer. So probably go towards that. Oh, I need I do need a new computer. My baby girl is on her last leg. I should probably buy that. You you probably need that more than you need new then sneakers. Like some sneakers, yeah, definitely. Rob was thinking about that I too. Need- Maybe. Really. I didn't even think about that, yo, because she is having a rough time. There's no charge, really, and yeah. um, everything is slow. The fan is on for no reason, even though I just have Zoom open. I don't know what's mm-hmm. going on here, but maybe I'll do that. Although yeah. computers are like three grand versus 1200 but we'll see. Well, we'll see. I don't know. L, what you got? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, a part of me is like I want to uh, buy some clothes, but I'm like, who cares anymore, man? Mm-hmm. Like, we, we – we ain't getting out the crib forever, and like all my shit, I you know is like still good. So I don't know, man. That computer sounds good, uh, yeah. but you know who, who knows what, what, what we're gonna do with that money, man. I definitely, I know it's definitely designed for us to stimulate the economy, but you know, I don't know. I I yeah. think this is a very interesting time for streetwear because the consumer is back in the driver's seat more so than the reseller. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like because of that the consumer like is gonna we're gonna actually be able to see fair prices like for example the hair jordans the new ones that came out Mm -hmm. whether you like them or not they're still available you know and they're okay shoes like they're available for the public and they're they're even like lower than retail right now on uh on goat there's a couple of other shoes that have been coming out that it's like they'll sell out like the core purples did sell out but they're not going up very much you know yeah so, I don't know what the next couple of months is, is going to hold for us, but we might finally see a chance where uh, consumers hold all the power again. They hold all the cards. Well, one thing well, we, do, we know this month that's going to happen is the 420 sneaker because we have 420 coming up. Mm-hmm. Before we go into that, Lawrence, what were you going to say? Oh, no, I was going to say, why don't you guys hold your $1,200 so when the Dior's come out, you can, buy, you can put another – 800 to the Dior's <laughs> and then flip yep. those shits for like 20 grand. And there you go. That's economics 101. There, <laughs> there we go, baby. Ah. There we go. Tanner, are you aware that Dior and Jordan are making a Jordan one? Dior like the, like the clone. Yep. Yeah. And, and the bags I, I, and whatnot. All I, that I, stuff. I, I didn't, I didn't know. No. If you mm-hmm. had to guess how much the retail price of these shoes were going to be, what would you I, guess their I just kind of put at? it out there. Didn't, didn't Al, Al just said twenty grand? 
No, two, no, two grand. You said two. resale. Oh, you did. Oh, my fault. I was trying to. Yeah, I, did. I say. You, I say you take the eight hundred. I say you take the eight hundred, the twelve hundred, put another eight hundred with it. I said that. There you go. That's how you get to Dior's and then flip them for twenty grand. Oh, okay. Yeah, my fault. Um, yeah, yeah. They're, they're two grand, dude. That, that that's so. Ins- I, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, I don't understand where this could go now because things are just gonna go up. Look where they are, buddy. <laughs> they don't even look good. <laughs> All right. I, I guess that's your opinion. No, we could. I, no, for sure. I could see the they, unlikeliness of them. Do you like the the lows better though? No, they look like cheap, like uh, customs. Don't you, don't you fucking talk about that fine Italian leather like that, okay? <laughs> the, it looks like it's like glued on. You trying to get into some fights over here, Tanner? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that lead swoosh right there. I know, and the like oh, the, the silver bit, the silver bit at, right by the tongue. Yeah, it looks like it's about to fall. That's off. real silver. Somebody had to <laughs> die to get that. <laughs> Those fucking forged. ungrateful child. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, all right, <laughs> I'm we, kidding. We can, <laughs> Obviously, we can probably we can probably start to wrap this up. But one thing that um, um, Laura, uh, Lawrence brought up uh, was the quarterly shoe. Do we have a favorite quarterly shoe that's come out so far? So far, my favorite shoe that's come out is the shoe that I've worked hardest to try to get and failed miserably. Uh, I'm going with the Nike SB Strange Loves. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm actually. I'm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm with Team Luke on that. Uh, I think Strange Loves uh, are the the shoe. Damn, there's so many great shoes, man. There's a lot of great shoes that came out this past four months. Plums, mm-hmm. uh, Syracuse, Kentucky, yeah, uh, even the Stussy joints, the fucking the strange back to the Travis Scott SBs. But I'm I'm not gonna lie, Luke. I I keep looking at those and I'm like, God damn, like they are a work of art. They are incredible shoes. The the this like the choice of fabrics was great. Um, the uh, the even like the box rollout was amazing. Uh, I mean, it was. <clears throat> You know, it was still very highly competitive to get, but it was a very nice shoe, and it still holds up. I think. Now, would you would you buy that with your stimulus money? <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't. I probably honestly that. Maybe, maybe honestly, yeah. At this mm-hmm. point, if we're looking at like four hundred, if if they're four hundred right now, or when when the stimulus money well, comes in, yeah. Right now, right now they're they're a little bit higher than four hundred. Five five eighty. In that range, yeah, it depends yeah, on your size. That range. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're oh, yeah. Uh, but they, but I think honestly, I you know I, I know we're not trying to. They seem like they're just gonna keep going up. That's like so to me that is uh whew, it's a great shoe, man. It's a great shoe. Yeah, I would. The did the Travis SBs come out this quarter? Yep. Yeah, they, they did. Came right? out in late February. Yeah. I don't even know when shit, is, dude. I'm so lost. Every day is a blur now. I don't know when shit was at all. But I would have to say that's my quarterly shoe. Really. Yeah, which is weird because all three of us picked an SB. Right. So they're I really told you, in baby, full force. SBs are back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tanner, do you, do you have one? <laughs> uh, yeah, this quarter I got some new slippers. They have <laughs> foam in them. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Hilarious. That's great. Uh, l- let's ask Tanner some serious questions, though, man. Yeah. yeah. You you you're back on the podcast, man. You used to you 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 had one of the greatest. Uh, a reoccurring uh, sketches that I would ever call, I, if I call it a, a sketch, uh, the sub podcast intern show, which was dope as fuck. Um, Tan, when are you gonna bless us with a with a with a with a a, 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 a podcast uh, intern show, man? We need one. The streets want one, man. The streets don't, want don't, one. Don't, do it for the streets. streets. Do it for the streets. Don't do it for us. Do it for the streets, bro. The main <laughs> question I got from people after we stopped using the. Becky's studio was, is Tanner still going to do the intern show? And the answer was, Tanner let everyone down. <laughs> <laughs> I let everyone down. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know how to respond to this. Uh, I, <laughs> Does Erwin want to do an intern show? <sighs> Maybe, I'll ask him. <laughs> he's right there just ask him right now he's a little shy he doesn't want to talk right now and he doesn't have a mic it'll be weird okay all right yeah. whatever all right i was gonna set up uh, set him up with one but i did it would have been oh tanner that would have been next level yeah 
Um, but, yeah, maybe the streets. The streets gonna keep on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not on the streets anymore. I, I cleaned up my act. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> self quarantine, baby. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, I don't know, man. Do you, do you guys yeah, have any, any, anything any else? Final, any final thoughts? Um, uh, my final thought I will say is that so for to kill quarantine time, I did buy Animal Crossing, the game that's Luke's background there. Mm-hmm. Um and you can customize your clothing. So I have so many box logo hoodies now. No, oh, <laughs> yo, I have the most fuck boy, which is I remade me. So I made the most fuck boy version of a version of you. Guy I could. Yeah, I got yeah. a Red Sox hat. I got a life box what, logo. What's your island Tim's. called? Supreme Italia? No, it's called Epstein's. It should, of Jesus. course it is. Oh God. <laughs> Can't even have a good thing going with this guy, man. Here's the producer on the show. Oh, yeah, she quit. (laughs) (laughs) You're a fucking nightmare to work with, Chris. Uh, HR nightmare. HR uh, nightmare. What? Epstein's Island's a great name for my island. You know what you're doing. I'm not going to (laughs) say what you're doing, but you know what you're doing. (laughs) And my fruit is cherries. (laughs) Why? So you're so Lawrence. Everybody's island gets a specific fruit or that mm-hmm. they can grow, and he just luckily landed on cherries, which we all know. What happens on Epstein's island? A lot of popping. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You're a piece of shit, Chris. <laughs> yeah, you're a piece of shit, Chris. Uh, does anyone else have any final thoughts? Here's my final thought. You're a piece of shit, Chris. <laughs> I'll second that. <laughs> I'll, third, I'll, th- I'll third Do that. I'll third note that. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Name of the episode. Chris is a piece of shit. <laughs> All right. There, we have our. We're gonna listen, title. everybody. Featuring <laughs> Tanner Williams. <laughs> Little Kiki, so, don't drop my government. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> it's, in the, it's, in, it's in the description. I'm, listen, I'm just going by what's on the names. Oh, um, Christ. So this has been Tanner. Thank you so much for coming back, buddy. Little we miss you. We appreciate you. Um, yeah, if you want to follow Little Kinky, which you absolutely should, he has a very underrated Instagram, which I don't know how you have so little followers for the amount of work you do sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But he's at Little Kinky69. You know, at LZD325. You know, at Trovisus. You know, at Not That Cheney. Um, at sub podcast, uh, NYC on Instagram there, you, you can email us or text us. We have a Google voice that you could leave a voicemail to. Um, and then that's, I mean, just follow us, share the show. Discord, baby. Yeah. Oh, join the discord too. Tanner's Disc- in the discord. We're having a good time in the discord. We're trying to, we're trying to keep each other sane, you know, talking sneakers, yeah. mm-hmm. like nothing's mm-hmm. going on. Yeah. There you I go. think everyone's going to be very happy about Tanner's return. Tanner, maybe hop on the discord. And say what up, buddy. Just a little ah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, but that's it, guys. See you later. All right, later. Peace. Peace. Peace.